What's going on YouTube? My name is Crazy A Gaming. Welcome back to another video. I know that I did this couple months ago, you know, but I, I really I re went and rewatched my old tier list and I realized that I didn't like the choice I made a couple of months ago. And in twenty twenty three February, now that I saw him in the Watts Quantumania, my idea of MCU has changed a lot. So today we're here to redo this tier list that we did a couple of months ago. But this time, you know, we have a different mindset, okay? I have a different list today. I decided to go for the five-star thing. So I go one, two, one, point five, all to five-star. We have every MCU movies and TV shows in the MCU right now, including Quantum Media right here. Um, now, before you guys, you throw your books, I mean, whatever, just want to this is how I enjoy those movies. It doesn't mean that a movie had a low note that I didn't enjoy it, right? I couldn't enjoy the movie that had a very low ranking of the MCU. It's just how I feel about this. It's not, I'm not ranking, you know, to, you know, you know, in, in looking what people rank those movies out there, it is my personal list. Right? That's how much I know those movies myself. So, if you want to, you let me know in a comment, what is your top three MCU movie? What's your top three biggest movie that you love in, from the MCU? From Iron Man 1 to Ant-Man and the Wells Quantumania. Without further ado, we're going to do this in chronicle order the MCU. So, we're going to Iron Man 1 and all to with Ant-Man and the Wells Quantumania. Uh, I'll just rent the show all in the same place because I don't know what year they came, what month, if there was a movie that came between, I don't care. It's how much it does. Alright, without further ado, let's do this. So let's start with Iron Man 1, um, which is the start of the MCU. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 10. I know people will put this at 5. It did start at the MCU, but there's more you can add to this movie, right? Like, you know, it's straight as the original movie, you know. But you can still add more to it, in my opinion. I guess this is my opinion. <laughs> Next, we have Iron Man 2. Um, I'm going to give Iron Man 2 a 2. Um, here's the thing. I'm a huge fan of Michael Rook that played with Plash in the movie. Uh, The, the Whistler is one of my favorite movies of all time. Love that movie so much. But I did not vibe with Michael Rook playing a villain in the movie. Which the villain was a little boring in my opinion. Then the introduction of Black Widow was amazing. I love Scarlett Johnson in that movie. Even though she had a little part of the movie, she was amazing in it. And you know the relationship between Robert Downey and Don Cheadle or Rhodey and, and Tony was amazing. But it's still the story really sucks. And it's a really low story. It has one of my favorite scenes in the MCU though when he puts the briefcase on him and shows him to the Iron Man suit, which is more three or four. I'm not show you anymore but I just love the movie it's just like it's 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 not the best but I can't put it more than the two it, it, it's like I, I do enjoy it in certain degrees but you know it's not up there for sure um but yeah so next would it be Rain King Captain America the first Avenger which is right here I'll give it a 3.5 um good introduction to Chris Evans Captain America really loved it um I do have some problems in the movie you know it's not a perfect movie uh, I love Hugo Weaving playing Red Skull. That was a good choice for a villain. Um, no, not the most iconic villain of all time, but but, but you know, it's still a good villain, right? Um, and then of course you had the amazing Captain Willie Jones, Haley Hadwell, Sebastian Stan. Amazing cast. Uh, this is a movie. It's literally in the middle of the of the, of the three. Uh, three or five, sorry. Next we have the first tour, which, if I'm be honest, and this is my opinion, I really did like this movie. Um, I'm gonna give it the same. I'm gonna give it two point five. Okay, it's not as worse as Iron Man, two, but like for me, the first Thor, it's a movie that I can honestly maybe fall asleep watching. The start of the movie is very good. I had a like, good start. The first act is good. Second act is boring. There's some funny scenes there and there. You know, I know they're trying to explain Asgard and everything, but like you know, and then the third act is cool. You know, his this story comes on Earth. You know, you see, uh, you know, Coulson, you know, and it's, it's a decent movie, but I just didn't vibe with it at all. This is my personal opinion. I just didn't vibe with that movie at all. Next, the Avengers, which is a five. Nobody would agree with me. They started, they started the, you know, they, they brought everybody together. 2012, I remember seeing these interiors. I was 11 at the time. Enjoyed it so much. Like, it's just, it's just a good movie. It's a good movie. Uh, no, 2011, 2012. I don't know why it's 11. 2012, sorry. Um, just great experience in theaters watching this. I remember, I've been blown away. And I still, if I watch this today, I'll still be blown away. Amazing movie. Amazing storyline, to be honest. Next. And of course, the, uh, the famous uh, circle scene. Next, we have The Dark World, which is literally to be about on my list. It's just... Uh, I'll give it a 1.5. You know, I'm going to give it a 1.5. And the reason I'm giving a 0.5 plus... It's Tom Hiddleston's Loki. I, you know, despite the entire movie being a really bad story, with a bad villain, 
you know, it, it was what it is. I still did enjoy the uh, Tom Wilson scenes in that movie. He did still the show for the movie. In my opinion, the only good one is I'm gonna give he, he, Tom Wilson gets a point five. Sure, he doesn't say the entire movie, but still, you know, it's still, it's okay. <laughs> um, then we have the Winter Soldier. Yes, the, uh, yeah, Winter Soldier. Uh, Winter Soldier for me is a five. I. Uh, it is below First Avenger, but I really, really, really loved the spy m movie that it did. The, the, this, this was the Rosemary's first movie. The, of course, the famous elevator scene, which is amazing, of course. Everybody remembers that scene. Amazing scene. And just the entire movie as a whole, Bucky coming back, his own soldier, which was amazing. The entire cast, Samuel Jackson was amazing in that movie. Really love him. I think this is my favorite movie where it has Samuel Jackson from, you know, well, favorite Samuel Jackson movie that he's in. It's Winter Soldier. I loved it. Loved the spy feeling. And it's the, it's one of the only movies that, you know, there's no nobody with special powers. The only one that come close to this is probably Falcon with his wings. But that's pretty much it. It's the only, like, one of those movies that there's no extra super power people. You know, sure, Captain America has the, the super soldier serum, but you know what I mean. Like, it's just... For me, it's like it's because my favorite comic book movie of all time is The Dark Knight, and you know I would not go for The Dark Knight because you know Dark Knight is a lot better than Moon Soldier, but still, like I love that movie. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy, which for me is another five star. Uh, I will actually put it over Moon Soldier. I think that I said to say that when I said a lot of people were blown away of what James Gunn did with the first Guardians of the Galaxy with the amazing cast. Chris Bass, Zoe, Bradley, Vin Diesel, and Dave Bautista. Amazing, amazing cast. And then Michael, Michael Rokas, uh, Yondu. It's just, it's one of those movies that you can just watch over and over and over and, over and still enjoy. And I need to give extra points, of course, to the amazing soundtrack that I still listen, yes, I still listen to those two songs to this date. Nine years later, still listen to those two songs because for me, they're an amazing song. Who Kind the Feeling and Come and Get You Love. Two amazing song, amazing cast, amazing story. Loved it. And then I'm trying to make sure that I don't go out in order. But if I'm not mistaken, we go to H. Oh, I ran three. I forgot about Iron three. Sorry, I ran three. Um, I'm gonna give him a three. Um, listen, I, I think the the obvious problem with Iron three was the Mandarin was the boring villain. Uh, I really, I think a lot of people prefer, but I, I think everybody prefer what they did with Shang Chi's Mandarins. Villain, um, it's 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 a hard movie to rank because I still love the Mark Forty Two was cool. That was really cool. Like you know, I could movie the no. I'm looking for the three. I'm looking for the three. Yeah, I love the three. It's a decent movie, but it's it's not up there. You know, it's it's it's, it's okay. It's just I'm gonna put it at okay. We did forget about Incredible Hall. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Well, it's still a bad movie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put it over the Dark World. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna say this. I am going to put it in 2.5. <clears throat> Number in the first store. It's still a bad movie. But personally, I really love the way that Edward Norton played Bruce Banner and did the Hulk too. You know, I still decently enjoy the movie. It's not up there for sure. No, it'll never be up there. But I still enjoy it decently. But better than Iron 2 and Turtle the Dog for sure. Um, and my opinion, it's, it's a little, little underrated. It's still, you know, it's still a bad movie. But people shit on it too much, I think. <clears throat> my opinion. So... All right, next we have Age of Ultron. If I'm not mistaken, yes, Age of Ultron is next. All right, Age of Ultron. <clears throat> All right, I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm gonna put it over to when it's uh, the first uh, Kevin Reckon, the first Avenger, two point five. Um, I think this movie is highly underrated. People would put it in the bottom of the list sometimes, and sure, it's not. Here's the thing. Here, sure, it's not as good as the first Avengers that we all know, right? It's definitely not better. You know, first Avengers is so much better. I'll argue with that. But what I'll disagree with is it's not <clears throat> the worst MCU movie. And no, nobody says that. But, you know, like, the whole Buster scene was amazing. I remember seeing this here. I was what the hell? Um, it was an amazing scene. The battle, final battle scene is actually cool. And the slow motion shot was actually really amazing. I'm going to put it right there. If you disagree with me, <clears throat> it's my list. Sorry <clears throat> if I make you mad. But that's why I think about it. All right. Now we're going to Ant-Man. The first Ant-Man. Which is my favorite Ant-Man. I'm actually going to put it. Over Age of Ultron. Um, you know, there was... The Paul Rudd's introduction to the uh, MC was amazing. It was usually, Mike, you know, Michael Douglas and Michael Penas, too. Yeah, Michael Douglas and Michael Penas, sorry. 
you know, just an amazing cast. <clears throat> Paul Rudd is a treasure. Even though Kotori Noah was horrible, he, the way they introduced Ant Man in MCU was amazing. Of course, Yellow Jack in the end, Cassie is a young kid. I miss a younger Cassie, I don't know the other one. Uh, still an amazing movie. So, I'm going to put it right up front of Israel Ultra. It's not the best, but not the worst. Alright, now we go to the, one of the my favorite MCU movie of all time, Civil War, which is a five. I'm going to put it over Guardians of the Galaxy, and I'm actually going to put it over the first Avengers, okay? Now, I'm probably going to get killed for doing this, but I really love Civil War. Russo Brothers' second MCU movie blown me away so much in 2016. I'm going to give all the good points, and I'll give you one bad point I have about the movie. Intuition of Spider-Man, amazing. Tom Holland Spider-Man. Chadwick Boseman, amazing Black Panther intuition, amazing. Zemo, amazing villain that twists the Avengers to fighting each other and try to kill each other. Amazing. Just amazing. Yes, it is basically Avengers 2.5, sure, you know, if you take Hulk and throw it away, but it's still an amazing story. The final battle between Cap and Bucky and Iron Man was amazing. Amazing. The movie has a really good start. I'll tell you on the mission. It's, uh, I forgot the end of where they're at, but amazing start. It's an amazing movie. The only thing that I don't like about this movie, which is very my own opinion, is they um they did they killed um, I wanna figure the material that was a girl character, um, which was Crossman there for like two seconds. They came earlier. This is very my perspective, but I really love Frank Girl as an actor, but yeah. So <laughs> not that the resort, but just yeah. Alright. Then we get to twenty if I make twenty seventeen, uh nothing more twenty sixteen. Oh Doc Strange. Oh, Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna put it an S and five. Okay, now, don't don't hear me on this. Okay, I really, really love Doctor Strange. I again, this is my list. How much I enjoyed those movies. I'm not ranking them of how they got ranked by the critics or whatever. I really love the Doctor Strange. No more than when the Soldier Guardians, Avengers Civil War, but I really enjoyed it. Love the movie. I love magic in real life, and that movie did a, such a good job bringing into it. Love amazing, amazing. Co stars too. Benedict and Wani and Benedict and Cumberbatch. The entire cast of the movie was amazing. Um, Villain was really amazing too. Uh, I forgot the name of the actor. Um, Miley something, whatever. Um, amazing cast, amazing story. I love Thor Strange. If you want to come at me in the comments, come at me. But I put it in five. I really love that movie. Next, we have 2017 to Gardens 2. Um, I'm going to get controversial with this, but I'm going to put this in three. I. Okay, it's over Iron Man 3, obviously, but yeah, okay. I really didn't, I didn't vibe with that movie. I, I wish I did. I wish I vibed with this movie. I really did, right? It had so much potential, but I just didn't vibe with it. It's okay. The villain is boring, I'm sorry, but the plant, the, uh, uh, not Russell Crowe, that's, that's Love and Thunder, um, why can't I remember the actual name? <laughs> but yeah, no, I, just, I just didn't like the movie. I just... Personal opinion, but I just it's it's in the middle, you know, just didn't fight with it. I then twenty seventeen, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, then we uh no, we have Ammon was no, that's after Wait, did I come out? Oh yeah, it came out after Final War, yeah. Twenty eighteen, right? Wait, did I mate? Oh yeah, 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 after, yeah. So I think we're done with that year. Alright, let's move to the next year. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we have Round Rock. Ooh, Round Rock is an ass movie, a five star. I'm gonna put it. That's your morning card. Yeah, you want? Know I'm gonna put it over Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, what else can I say? The best tour, the only good tour in my opinion. Like the only good tour. That's why I said tour has. It's it's so hard to say who has the real trilogy between Iron Man <clears throat> and Tour because because of Lord of Thunder. But if you just do the three first movie. Runner Rock said that trilogy is so hard, man. Takuma Titi really did it. Sure, Love Thunder was completely shit, but Takuma Titi saved the torture of Runner Rock. <clears throat> so good. American Song, amazing cast. Kim Blanchett was amazing in that movie, too, as the villain. Um, you know, you have uh, Tom Anderson, amazing performance again. Every time he's on screen, man, that's Loki. I love it. Um, but yeah, so Runner Rock goes over Guardians, but below the first Avengers game. <clears throat> All right. 2018, for the Black Brother, a five star again. I will put it below Winter Soldier and above Dark Strange. Love that movie. The way that they brought the black community into the MCU, <clears throat> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wakanda, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Killmonger, Michael Jordan, 10 out of 10. Amazing feeling. Chadwick, as Black Brother, 10 out of 10. Amazing. 
um, hero main cast <clears throat> of the movie. Fires in this movie, 10 out of 10, amazing. Marty Freeman's this, 10 out of 10, he was the only white guy in the entire movie, and I love that. He was amazing in it. Uh, you know, but yeah, so that's my ranking of Black Panther. Um, then we have Infinite War for me. It will be top of the list. Like, you, you come at me if you want to. Come at me. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. You want to come at me? I'm ready. Come on. Come on. But yeah, no, obviously, Infinite War is the best MCU movie, in my opinion. Spoiler for the rest of the ranking. I just love that movie so much. I would just listen to that movie over and over and over again. I just love that movie so much. It is an amazing movie. If you want to disagree, it's fine. No, I'll, I, you know, I'll say if you disagree with me, but it's the best MCU movie. Then we have Amen the Wasp. Uh, and the Wasp. Um, I'll put it below Guardians and above Iron Man Three. It's not the worst. I don't have much that I've seen it twice. It's one of the movies, movies that I haven't seen that many times. Like uh, some others, one. It's okay. It's a movie. It's just not the best. You know, I have not much to say. Like eventually, and Paul did amazing, and they're under cast. Just the story and the villain. Just I didn't love the villain a lot. If I was the villain at all, just. A ghost, but I think it was just you know didn't hit it for me personally. But yeah, just not a, one of the my least favorite feeling. I think it was Eminem was going to be yeah, honestly. But yeah, so you know it is what it is. All right, and then and then and then and then, and then we get to Captain Marvel. Um, I can't, no, I cannot, I can I'm joking. Yes, I do hate the movie, but it's not a one. Um, I'm gonna put it over the first. I, I, that's the highest I'll be ranking Captain Marvel. I'm just gonna say this. I was expecting so much more from Captain Marvel when I heard they were doing the movie and Brandon names you after the Infinity War post credit scene. Just no. I just I was expecting so much more from the movie. It really disappointed. And I'm personally not a fan of Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. Had an amazing supporting cast, short, but I just no. Didn't like it at all. Just one of my least favorite MCU movies. Alright, so I'm gonna get to the show. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna put Endgame right there in the second place in the entire MCU. But it's not different in the war. I'm um okay, here's the saying. If like of obviously in game is a better movie than Civil War, especially for that ending scene. I think everybody was in the edge of the seat when even Teeter was in the saw the portal opening and then you know, Captain America with me on there and you know like deep I was blown away and you were blown away when you watched the series. You were blown away. Don't lie. Don't lie. But it's not better different in the war. For me, if in the war is top of the list of that list. Yeah, I mean I listen, I could talk about this movie for hours about the in-game. Everybody's seen it. It's the second highest grossing movie of all time. Everybody's seen the movie. I don't have to talk about how great it is. It's one of my favorite scenes. It was probably Captain America Millionaire. And the, the Ulky Van. I read that the Ulky Brown Van out there. I love those two scenes. Those were my two favorite in the movie. And also Black Widow Sacrifice was amazing too. Alright, then we get into um, Phase 4. No, we have Far From Home. The wank. Um, I really enjoyed Far From Home. I really did. I'm going to put it... And 4.5 and right below Iron Man. It's not a five star by any scene misery. Um, but I really love Jane Jane Hall's. Again, don't come at me to comment for this ranking against just how much I know these movies. And I'm not ranking how good they are. It's how person I enjoyed it and it's MCU fan. So come in your comments. It's, you know, I love Jane Jane Hall's feeling in that. Really did. Simon Jackson, again, did a good job with Comey Smiter. That's um, Mary Hill. Um, you know, Zendaya, Jacob. They all did a good job. The entire house is amazing. Love the movie. Ginger Hall is actually one of my favorite mo- mo- villains in MCU. I love the actors. I'm maybe being a little biased about that, but I just love the way he brought uh, Mysterio in MCU. And actually, without even knowing who the hell Mysterio was, we had probably he said he didn't have any more knowledge. And this was his first big movie. He was more you know usually indie movies, not big project movie like like this. So he did an amazing job for this movie. Then we go to I think Black Widow. I don't know. I didn't. Here's the thing. So I wanted to say this. Most movies in the five star category are the movies that had chills during like during some scenes. If I have chills, I know that I love the movie, right? Like, if, if if I get chills, it's gonna give me chills, right? You know what I mean? Like, it's again, it's just again, uh, and uh, you know, like anyway, if you don't want to even chill, and game did so weird, the Avengers did run around differently when you know, and Guardians did, um, Sword really did, Black Panther obviously did, and Doctor Strange actually did. So that's why this, this get, didn't give me much jails, but still amazing scenes. So next we have, oh yeah, um, what's the ranking? Black Widow. Um, yeah, no, just horrible movie. So I'm sorry, but it's just horrible. They waited too long for that character. It feels like a failure movie for Black Widow. It's, it's in the, it doesn't even feel like a movie. 
I just didn't like it. And the fact that you had to pay twenty five dollars, ten dollars when I would pay in tier two, like whatever on AG IMAX from home. Yeah, no, I pirated that shit. <laughs> we forgot Homecoming. Oh no. Uh, Homecoming is a four point five, and I would put it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a four five for home. It's it's just. It's just an amazing movie. Again, uh, K uh, Michael Keaton's uh, Vulture was amazing. <laughs> I forgot about phone coming. Jesus. Um, next, we go to Eternals, which is a one for me. I'm sorry. Didn't hear that movie. I don't want to talk about it. Hear that movie. Move on. Uh, Shang-Chi. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get traversed with this. Okay. Um, I really, 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 really love Shang-Chi. I'm going to put it over Guardians and Below, Ryan Rock. Man, Simi Lu, man. I wish fellow Canadian too, but like I wish I can talk to you maybe and just tell you how much I enjoy your movie. Man, there were so many good. Uh, again, I'm not gonna talk too much because I don't want. Uh, I've already been ready for 21 minutes, but man, what a movie! What an amazing movie! Hell can't come out. Was amazing that movie. Simi Lu and Joe Michelle Ho, just amazing movie. All right, then we go to. Hey man, Dark Strange was for the madness, right? No. Yes. No. No, that wasn't. No. Oh, next is No Way Home. Right? There was any issue. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, no. Okay, no. First was One Vision. Is an S for me? Actually, no. I'm going to put it at top of A. I'm going to put it at top of A. Uh, it's not an S. I didn't really get. Actually, you know what? I, no, I, no, I'm going to put it as well on S. I did get some chills moment. That last moment was amazing. And uh, even Peter's. That was shockingly good to add this into this. Um, so yeah, then we have Loki. No, uh, yeah, Loki. Uh, not an S, but an A. I'm gonna put it on top of A. Really, 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 really love Loki. Tom is in. Owen Wilson, best one of the best with the MCU. Love that. Then we have Winter Soldier and the Falcon. Um, I still, I'm gonna put it at four. It's gonna be my first four. It's not the best. A lot of people really hated it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the character of Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan. And Zemo, I forgot the name of the actor, sorry, but I love that movie. Uh, that's the that TV show. Uh, Moon Knight, which is another 4.5. No, actually, I'm going to put it in 4. I'm going to put it over, obviously, over something. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't belong in the same category as this. It was better. Um, Moon Knight, I'm going to put it there. Amazing. Not the best. Oscar Isaac is amazing actor. Then we have... Hawkeye, which came out... And around the same time as No Way Home it was before No Way Home because the last episode of Hawkeye was came out after No Way Home. I don't know. It's complicated. Or the same time, I don't know. But yeah. Um well, like no, it came out before. Hawkeye ended right before No Way Home came out thing. So that after this is No Way Home. Um we can get first one No Way Home. Um Yeah, just Yeah, it's it is what it is, right? Alright, No Way Home. Okay, I cannot put it over all the Avengers movie, and you and if you want to come in the comments and tell me, oh, you're putting it for nostalgia. Yes, I am. Like I said, it's how much I enjoyed this movie as an MCU viewer, as a big Marvel fan. Toby and Angel were all that we needed to make that trilogy, that trilogy, and I have a perfect ending in my opinion. So it's there. Be mad about it. I'll be ready. <laughs> she Hulk is a one. Miss Marvel is a 1.5. I really didn't like Miss Marvel. No, see, she help was cringe. It's not worse than Eternal, but it's still out there. It's a cringe ass movie. Most of Madness. I'll give it a 4.5. I know this movie's hated. I don't care. I love Transcendence Kiss, Reed Richards. I love what she's going to be in a bad movie here. She's nostalgia. And again, it's my list. Don't be mad about my list. I'm going to put Most of the Madness. I'm going to put it above. You know I'm going to put it one in 5. I did get chills seeing Transcendence Kiss, Reed Richards. And the final battle was amazing. So, come, come on me. I thought it was a 1. Don't, don't, don't try, ask me why. Copy the United to 1, too. Um, it's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it at the top of 1. Actually, no, I'm going to put it at 1.5. There, like, okay. Actually, no, I'm going to put it at 2. Okay. Now, nah, 1.5 still. Here's the thing. The only reason that it has 0. 0.5 is because of Jennifer Mayer's Mayor's uh, versus game. That's all I have to say. We have Road by Midnight. is one of the best entry projects I've seen. I'm going to put it... Over no, I'm gonna put it at the bottom of 4.5. Amazing. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Then we have the Guardians guys. He's special. It was okay. It was funny, but it's nothing special. I'm gonna put it at. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. 2.5. Uh, 
It's it is what it is. And we have Black Widow from Wakanda Forever, which is not as good as the first movie, but still an S amazing performance by uh just a uh, friend name of the rest that plays uh just last uh mom, but uh she's getting nominated for so many actors, but amazing. Um I, I I'm gonna put it on I think I'm gonna put it on five. Alright, here it is. My MCU ranking twenty twenty three edition updated. We I don't know what else to mean, yeah. Um you know, I'm gonna download this. Here we go, here's my ranking. If you guys love this ranking video, don't forget to show a like in the video. You know, it always helps. If you guys want to, you can also subscribe to my channel. I'm live a lot. I'm going to be live more in the future. I'm sorry. Uh, I know I've been kind of away lately, but I will be live more in the near future. Until then, I want you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It uh, helps a lot, you know, of course. And um, if you want any questions, and let me know in your comments your top three MCU project. It can be a TV show, movie. Just let me know. But well, you guys saw my ranking today. Let me know what you think of the ranking. I want to, I want to know. We got to see this ranking. Um, one final time. Um, here's my 5.5, 4, 3.5, 3, 4, 5, 2, 5, and 1. Yeah. So here's my ranking. If you guys agree, let me know in the comments. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments too. I just, just comment something. <laughs> and see you guys next video. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. And see you some other.